Yo, what's up guys, welcome back. So, Platinum Duels featuring Domain Monarch. So, let's take a look. Um, this is the current decklist that I'm using, but the thing is, is that and I, as soon as I hit Platinum, I was like, um, uh, okay, I need to change up the list a little bit, because, again, if you hit Platinum, you're playing pretty much meta ev every time, you know, pretty much. Um, and the thing is, is that because the Master Duel format is so special, um, there's just a wide variety of decks that you can play against. Um, there is meta, and of course, the best matchup of this deck is meta. I'm looking at uh, Drytron, I'm looking at uh, Tri-Brigade, Zodiac or Tri-Brigade, uh, Luralisk, Bird, Birda, right? And so on and so on. But the problem is, is that, as you know, um, the one of the most popular decks in Platinum Ranks, for example, is Eldlish or True Draco. Again, there's a rise of True Draco players, but all of the decks are pretty much the same, and they are main decking Floodgate. So I was like, okay, I need to change the main deck a little bit, and I added the Maxi. Again, nothing new, uh, and losing the coin toss every time. Like, every time I'm losing the coin toss, it's unbelievable. So you need something to go second, or for going second, and if you're playing against meta, like Adam and Sepater or whatever, you definitely need those Maxis. So Maxi, for the only hand trap, I think that's okay. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. I decided to drop the uh, Idea Eidos uh, from the main deck, plus one for one and foolish, because, you know, that's like a small core package, because I needed room, room for Maxi. And the second main deck card is I added uh, back in, because again, there's so much anti-meta, Eldlish, True Draco, and even like random decks, Dark Magician, that you're, you're just losing against, because... And I had this actually happen. The Dark Magician, going for Magician Navigation, I believe the name is Special Summoning 2, Dark Magician. Set 3, passes, and immediately, like during my draw phase slash standby phase, he flips over like 3, uh, a skill drain, goes and match, and another floodgate. Yeah, what can I do if I don't have any, you know, like like uh, spell and trap destruction cards, right? That's, the, that's still the biggest problem of this deck. So anyway, first tool against the meta, and... Uh, let's face it, this opening hand is fantastic. If I would have gone first, uh, you know, use the Pendulum Upstart, get an Upstart, you know, Upstart Goblin, a draw, um, potentially a sixth card here, right, with that draw, special submitted back again to my extra Monster Zone domain, Testalos, to get a peek at my opponent's hand and have the full domain lock intact. That probably would have been my game, but again, losing the coin toss happens 50% of the time, probably more, but it is what it is. So I need to combat this particular board, and that's the thing with Monarchs, is that uh, going second, I already opened, uh, well, double Stormfort is not the best, but one Stormfort, that's fine. Especially against this particular deck. So Stormfort goes through, and I need to get rid of the monster effect. And Testalos is actually pretty good. Uh, Testalos hits the opponent's hand, you know, pick something, discard something, but effect failure. And I was like, okay, it's not the worst, because... Uh, domain lock is still intact, and as you know, my Monarch, when it attacks, it will gain 800 extra attack. So I could have, you know, at least, that's what happened, attack over the Link 3 Simorg, and then my opponent would have been under the domain lock. Pretty much GG. But this is Master Duel format, where people play random stuff, right, Geki? Again, something we don't see in the TCG. Players obviously play it, right? Because again, um, um, it, it's free destruction. And of course, players might be on a budget. So lightning storms evenly matched being uh, in the main deck. So a small bummer, but I definitely had, you know, some chances, even though my, at least even though I went second. Uh, another matchup against uh, Adam and Sepater. And this is, you know, I mean, the reason why, why, why you're main decking Maxi. If I didn't have Maxi here, I probably would have lost. Because Adam and Sepater is a deck that goes full combo, has multiple negations. And especially with this hand, uh, no way I would have, um, you know, like won against a couple of negations. If my opponent again went first and put up Savage and any other form of negation. But... I think my sixth card was the uh, Escalation. So I was like, okay, uh, priority, number, priority number one is to get uh, off the uh, uh, Prime Monarch, my trap, my monster, because I needed more Tribute Father. And, you know, with the combination of uh, Stormfort and Escalation, so Escalation Chainlink 1, Stormfort Chainlink 2, I can use Stormfort to tribute my opponent's monster away for a one-card Tribute Summon, being Vanity's Fiend, and that's GG well played. Uh, even though I don't think the Block Dragon would have mattered that much, Probably, you know, just stalling, stalling, you know, buying some time, I guess, for the potential spell and trap destruction. 
uh, because that's something that Emancipator definitely needed. Uh, finally, a duel going first. Um, as you see, like some duels also have Idea Idols again. I was switching around, looking at the correct ratios, and finally get information about my opponent's deck being Dragonlink again, a superb deck, top tier deck, especially here on Master Duel. But just Vanity's Fiend March is just an ignorant play. It is what it is. Next matchup against uh, Tri-Brigade, and I believe this is also a bird deck list. I think the deck is going to end on pretty much the same field as we've seen before. So that's the, the Simwork Link, right? That's um, the rank 1 exceed for uh, Liralisk. Forgot the name, you know which one I mean. Every time your opponent special summons, you can bounce back that special summon monster. And then um, what else? What else? What else? What else? The, uh, the uh, Barrier Statue. The Barrier Statue does hinder this deck uh, because... I can't special summon Adels, I can't special summon my Pendulum monster, so that's a problem. So again, I'm I'm you know I'm leaning towards the Stormfort again, but again, that's why it's at three here in the main deck. So this field is not that threatening, but those two back rows are kind of scary. But my opening end is definitely good. So th th that that field there is um I need Stormfort. I definitely need Stormfort because I can't drop Mithra and I draw it. So okay, that's cool. Draw Vanity's Fiend and kind of hope for the best. See if there's any response. Um, there is no response, so that's cool. The two back rows, no clue which cards uh, that could have been. Uh, Revolt, maybe? I don't know. Even though the barrier statue is there. And, uh, you know, go for the standard... Uh, Pantheism search for domain and obviously just like Rageki, Harpy's Feather Duster is one of those cards that people tend to main deck. You should if you're playing in Platinum because again there's so much um, true Draco, Eldritch, Stun. So you need those cards in the main deck, right? Um, if you're going second for example. So I think I have to go for it. Double Fiend, the two back row are kind of dead. So uh, no activation, so again no clue what those could have been. But again, Ignorant Vanity's Fiend wins the game. Um, next example, going first, this is definitely an okay opening hand, and this is, I mean, obviously you're always waiting with Idea, you do, I, 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 I feel that I still want to play Idea because, okay, it's very weak to Disruption, Ash Blossom, uh, Impermanence, for example, Effect Failure, but still the advantages of Idea I feel are still quite high, you know, getting that banished Monarch Spell and Trap from your banished pile back to the hand, that's still good. And especially with stuff like one for one, foolish burial, twin twister, to discard idea, for example, from your hand, I think that's still pretty good. So I, it's still testing, right? But I'm already leaning towards a potential uh, an, an, another monarch build, but more of that in the future. Uh, so anyway, I mean some standard, uh, you know, like chain blocking, Erebus first, then return, get the search, pretty much set up my next turn, right? Get off the domain lock, so that's cool, but we see it's Drytron, and Drytron is definitely an okay matchup, but uh, no Vanity's Fiend and no um, Majesty's Fiend. Uh, and then the deck still has potential, right? But, okay, domain lock is still intact, so my opponent can't go for Beatrice. Uh, can't go for Fafnir, and Fafnir is important because Fafnir is basically another Drytron name. So again, that's something that you want to prevent. Prevent your opponent from getting all of those different Drytron names. And Herald in defense is not a threat, actually. I can just attack it over with Erebus because again, Domain will give you the 800 attack boost when my Monarch attacks. Uh, so again, I try to force out some negations, uh, because again, my opponent only has two cards in hand. Uh, drop Aether, and here you can chain block Aether, chain link one, return chain link two. So again, my opponent would not have been able to use Herald and negate Aether, because again, Aether, chain link one, and return chain link two. So this is the current build. I'm, I dropped Kuras, because again, the reasons being that the, the, the format is so strange, Master Duel format, uh, even though Kuras is, um, um, it, it's, it's a crazy card in a build that I definitely want to try out in the near future, and that's with Chicken Game. More of that in the future, but Chicken Game is an ultra rare. Uh, it's an iffy one, right? Because again, in the near future, I will be uploading more deck lists. I uh, spent all of my gems uh, as well, but uh, more of that again soon in the future. But this is the current list, so I'm definitely making some plans to do some small changes. But for Platinum, this feels quite okay. The deck still suffers the, the big weakness of potentially bricking, but that's no always it always has been with monarchs. Okay. Hopefully it was uh, enjoyable. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.